Hello, this is Learning Target 5.2. We are going to be balancing full redox reactions, and this is a continuation from the last video about balancing half reactions. So if you need a quick review for half reactions, watch the 5.4 video. Um, Balancing this is basically twice as big as a half reaction. You have a full redox here, so half of this reaction is going to be losing electrons, and the other half of the reaction is going to be gaining electrons. You just don't know which one's which yet. So you start off by just connecting the major species together. They're usually metals. Uh, in this case, the manganese to the manganese, and the U to the U, and I simply just write the half reactions on each side of my little line. Uh, there are four steps, MOH minus, and uh, we're going to balance each half reaction one at a time. So MnO4 minus goes to Mn plus 2, and we are going to go to U plus 4 to UO2. This process is actually pretty straightforward. There's just a million little details where you can mess up. So trying to be nice and neat and tidy and organized is really the biggest issue and if you have sloppy printing like I do is where you're gonna make your mistakes this is actually not a lot of chemistry 12 in this at all it's just a process so I've got my U's on one side my MN's on the other and we're gonna MOH minus each one so M major species 1 MN 1 MN done four O's on the left, zero O's on the right, so you balance the O's with water, four H2 O's. Um, zero H's on the left, eight H's on the right, so I gotta add eight H pluses. Now I gotta balance the charge. To be honest, this is really the number one mistake I see students make over and over and over again. I've got one negative, I got eight pluses, so there's a total charge of plus seven on that side. On the right side, the waters are neutral and zero, and there's a plus two on this side. You want to make the large number equal the small number. And you can only do that by adding electrons. So seven down to two is I need five electrons on that left side. So the half reaction is uh, oops, sorry about that. The half reaction is going to be um, written out nice and neat and centered. Um, you'll see why in a minute here. MnO4 negative, 8H pluses, and of course I didn't leave myself enough space. Slide that over. Five electrons is going to go to Mn plus 2 and 4H2Os. I'm now going to do the same to the uranium. 1U, 1U, done. 2Os, add 2 waters, mess up my H's, add 4H pluses. Total charge on this side is plus 4. Total charge on this side is 2 and 4 is plus 6. So I'm going to make the 6 go down to the 4, so I'm going to add 2 electrons. So I'm going to write it nice and neat so my arrows match up. I have U plus 4 plus 2H2O going to UO2 plus 2. I have 4H pluses and 2 electrons. So. I have done the major hydroxide half reaction method twice. Two half reactions will be added together to make the full reaction. And our goal is to cancel off the electrons. So 5 and 2 both go into 10. You can simply cross multiply. Oops. You can simply cross multiply. Double the first reaction so that you get 10 electrons. Multiply the second reaction by 5, so you get 10 electrons. If you double the whole first blue reaction, you got to double everything. So 2 MNs, 16 Hs, just the 10 electrons. 2 MNs, 
and 2 times 4 is the 8 H's. Again, this is not intense chemistry 12, this is just a bunch of little steps, so go slow, pay attention to your numbers. You're multiplying the pink reaction by 5, so 5 U's, 10 waters, 5 U's, and 20 H's, and the 10 electrons. The reason why we do this is because you want to cancel off electrons. 10 electrons on the left, 10 electrons on the right. It's also a good time to stop and check. You do have something gaining reduction. You do have a pink reaction losing oxidation. So we know we're on the right track. Now we can simplify and reduce as we go. We have two MnO4 negatives. We have five U plus fours. We've got 16 H pluses and 20 H pluses. So all 16 are gonna go and that 20 is going to go back to 4, and going back to 4 is a huge fluke. Do not expect it to go back to the original number. We've got 10 waters and 8 waters. All 10 of those waters will cancel off the 8 waters, and we're going back to 2. Again, huge fluke that we have back to the original number. Hydrogens are gone. Electrons are gone. Arrow. 2MN plus 2. 5 uo 2 plus 2. 8 waters are all gone. The 20 waters are now back. Sorry, the 20 H's are now back to 4. So 4 H pluses. And the electrons are cancelled. So we are done. We have successfully balanced a full redox using two half reactions, combining them together, cancelling off the electrons. Last piece of information is this question has the word acidic next to it. We want to end the reaction in an acidic environment, and we did. We have four extra H pluses, which makes it acidic. The next example we're going to do, you'll see it says basic. So we are going to end this reaction in a basic environment, which takes a couple of steps, and we'll do that at the end. So, I'll talk a little less through this one. I'm going to combine my I's, combine my S's, balance the half reactions, MOH minus. I will balance the I stuff on this side. I will balance the S stuff on this side. SO2 goes to SO4 negative 2. So, a little detail that I didn't say in the first example. These types of questions come in a variety of shapes and sizes and difficulties. The ones I'm picking are well above average. It's not as hard as it's going to get, but it sure isn't as easy. I'm trying to pick examples that show almost all of the steps. The majors, the O's, the H's, and the negatives. So if I'm balancing the S's, they're done. 1S, 1S, done. 2 O's, 4 O's, you need 2 waters. Mess up the H's. You need four H pluses. So one S, one S. I now have four O's. I had four O's. I had four H's. I now have four H's. I gotta do the charge. Zero there, zero there. Total charge is zero. Minus two, four pluses. Total charge of plus two. Bring the big number down to the small number. I gotta add two electrons. Write it nice and neat in the center. S O four negative two. 4H plus 2 electrons, SO2, and 2 waters. Now let's do the other side. So, for the first time in this short little video, balancing the major things, we need to do some work. There's one iodine, and there are two iodines. So you balance it like normal, you hack a 2 out in front to make the two iodines, and that 2 must be counted for all the steps going forward. So, two I's, two I's, two times three is six O's, gotta add six waters. Mess up the H's. Six times two is 12 H's, 12 H plus. Total charge, two negatives, 12 pluses is plus 10. 
people always mess that up. They just see the negative and they're going to end up with plus 11 and that's going to wreck everything from that point forward. You've got to count that too. Plus 10, 0, so I need 10 electrons on that side. Write it out, nice and centered. I2, 6H2O, nice and centered. 2IO3 negative, 12 of those, and 10 electrons. So we can cancel off the electrons. 2 and 10, you don't need to cross multiply here. Yes, they both go into 20, but if you simply multiply that half reaction by 5, you'll end up with 10 electrons and 10 electrons, and those will cancel off. Multiply the whole reaction by 5, you get 5 SO2, 10 waters, 5 S's, and 20 H's. And this is basically the worst case scenario for me with my sloppy printing is a 5 next to an S. So please be careful. I know my printing is horrible, but that's a 5 next to an S. We can combine and cancel off. 10 waters and 6 waters, that can go down to 4. 12 H's and 20 H's, those are gone. This goes to 8. So when we combine all that, this is what we get. 5 SO2's and 2 of those. Oh, I messed that up. The 4 doesn't go there. Oh boy. The 4 does not go there. The 4 goes here. 4 waters. Then 5 SO4s in the eyes. And notice now how we're ending with 8 H pluses. So this is acidic. But we want it basic. To make it basic, we have to cancel off the H pluses. And we cancel diagonally. So if we want to get rid of 8 H pluses, we have to add 8 H pluses to the opposite side of this pattern type question. And we simply add a water reaction. So, in the environment, if this reaction has a tendency to be basic, there's lots of water, we simply on paper add the balanced water reaction to cancel off the 8 H pluses. You cancel it diagonally. If the 8 H pluses were on the left side of the green reaction, we would add 8 H pluses to the right side of the water reaction. So you're basically adding this pink reaction forward or reverse. So cancel off the 8 H pluses. Waters are usually messed up. Sometimes they're added together. Sometimes they're just canceled off like this. All four of those are gone. That 8 would become 4. And now you're going to have excess OH negatives. And that's how you make it basic. You can rewrite the whole thing again with the 5 SO2s, the 2 IO3s. H's are gone, waters are gone, 8 OH's. Blah, 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 blah. Copy it all out, nice and neat and organized. We now have made this reaction basic because we substituted the 8 H pluses into the OH minuses. Okay? So again, these are long fairly complicated processes. Some of these are going to be easier, some of these are going to be harder. There are a variety of ways um, to do these questions. Sometimes the easiest part is simply finding the two half reactions, combining the major species together, then you simply just have to go MOH minus twice and combine them. The numbers can get big and ridiculous in terms of electrons. Sometimes finding the half reactions is the hardest part. This is an example of disproportionation. Um, you'll see this a lot in a first year university class where one substance is breaking down into two parts. The Br2 is becoming the Br- and the Br2 is becoming the BrO3 negative. So, you can have one thing going to two things, you can have two things going to one thing. It all depends on how hard the prof or the teacher is trying to make the question. But you can still write out the half reactions and you still balance them with the MOH minus.
Okay. Questions that have sort of three or five or seven parts, you know right away is going to be a disproportionation. So here we have an MN going to an MN. That's pretty obvious. So everything else must just go together. You're only allowed to have two half reactions. You can't have third reactions or quarter reactions. They're half reactions. So here you have a species with a tin and a sulfur in it. So it must go to a tin and a sulfur. So on one side, you'll have your MnO4 negative going to your Mn plus 2. And on the other side, you're going to have your big thing breaking down into the smaller things. Again, 1 going into 2. This is just a disproportionation. So you have your two half reactions. Now you MOH minus both sides. Okay, So you can pause that and check your work there. But we'll do that in class. This is one of the hardest ones I've ever seen. And it was actually on a provincial exam. Geez, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 years ago. I'm not going to tell you how to half reaction this. But in class, we will and we'll balance it. So real quick how to balance full redox reactions using the half reaction method.